we have a big hole in the tug deck in the narrow boat that we've got in the workshop at the moment. In that hole is a generator, a freshwater tank, a calorifier, a diesel tank, and bow thruster. So you really need to get in there. Also, there's storage space in there for a couple of bikes as well. Just the, the folding type of bikes, but they can take up a little bit of space too. We could have a steel hatch, but they're very heavy. We could have a wooden hatch, but they're not very secure. I prefer a fiberglass hatch that is durable, very, very light in comparison, and uh, with the help of a couple of gas struts, stays in place. And it's the most easiest thing to, to operate if you operate a hatch. Now, we don't make a standard size of hatch because every boat we do is different. So, but we do make it in the same way with melamine boards with a little bit of a curb in the um, what will be the top um, to get the water off but um, here it looks flat and how we make it is that from the melamine boards we go through the post process with the the waxing then we put gel coat on it then we put this backing cloth on which is also yes that's the backing cloth which is very very thin which enables us to to fold it really well into the corners then we put this other cloth here which is 300 gsm grams per meter square and we put three layers of that on the what will be the top which is now the uh, the bottom and then we put this core flute um, it's a special fiberglass product that, um, that gives us a, a, a distance. It's making it like an, an eye beam there. And then we repeat what's here, um, the, what we've done on the top surface there. So one layer of backing and then three layers of 300 GSM. It's called backing, but really it's 100 GSM cloth as well. Now you'll see some holes in here. Now that's a bit of plywood because the the lock for the hatch is going to go there. That those are things that are bolted together and they don't they just have to have a, a solid space between them. And then here, down here, you can see one, two, three. In there's an aluminium plate that we use to screw the hinges in to give us that extra strength there. And um, now um, my cameraman, Alec is going to do the uh, the fiberglassing and he's going to put a coat of backing there so it's not just me talking. Uh, cue music. <laughs> with the finished item. Fiberglass hatch here and as you can see it's pretty rigid. Um, certainly feels good. Um, stainless steel hinges at the front and a lockable hatch here and then we turn this, flip that and then hey presto it comes up on two gas struts. Now ordinarily you wouldn't need two gas struts. One would be fine but because this is a large hatch 
that's what um, we, we recommend. That's the underside of the hatch. And then to close it, straight down like that. The other thing I'd quite like to mention is the fact that when it's up, it stays up. So if the wind comes along and blows it quite hard, it's not going to come down on your head. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed watching how to build a fiberglass hatch and maybe you'll even put one on your boat too. Thank you.